Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com doing a one-box random pack break of 2017 Upper Deck Goodwin Champions. It's a one-box break number 21 from 10buckbreaks.com. A big thank you very much to all of these folks right here. One spot gets you two packs, so let's Sir mix a lot and uh, double up, uh, uh. And you get, I'll number the packs 1 through 20 right here. So I'm going to do that right now. This is not an exciting part of the show, so if you are watching the replay of this, feel free to... Uh, fast forward through this part. It's not fun. I got a number of these packs. Todd, what's going on? Yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. T Todd, a Cubs fan, reaching out and saying, hey, happy to see the Dodgers win it tonight. They had gone to the range, the gun range, and then went to the bar to watch the rest of the game. If the Dodgers had lost this one, Todd... I have I would have probably needed to spend some time at the range as well. <laughs> it's stressful, but the Dodgers did it. And I don't know how Todd, I don't know how you and your Cubs did it last year when you were down one three. I mean were like people just jumping off buildings and stuff, off bridges. <laughs> I mean I, I don't know how I could handle it. Uh if we were down 1-3 and what you guys had to go through, go on the road and try to beat a great Indians team, you know, to do something that teams just generally don't do when they're down 1-3. That must have been just heart-wrenching. Just, I don't know how I could do it. Thank you, Scott. Appreciate it. Well, it means a lot. It means a lot to me, folks. I think, every, I think most, people, most of you who have been breaking with me for a while know that it's pretty clear throughout these breaks and through what we talk about and you know the, the knowledge that I have is like I really baseball is pretty much my favorite sport and grew up a Dodger fan so uh, since the 80s you know means a lot to me we grew up out here and it's a big deal to me so yeah all right um Let's randomize the uh, this stuff right here. Okay, so let's roll the dice for both lists. Six and a five, 11 times. One, names first. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11. All right, John, down to Jonah. And then once again, 11 times for the pack numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Yeah, if Bellinger was in a big slump. Fourteen out of nineteen. Um, Max, yes, it'll be in a regular top loader. That is the safest way to ship it. If you want it to be shipped the unsafe way, let me know. John Mortolaro, 14. Jonah Wilson, 16. Jeffrey, 18. Sam, 9. Jeffrey, 4. Ryan, 8. John, 2. John, 15. Ryan, 20. Kajua, 13. Sam, 11. John, 12. Jeff, 17. Patrick, 7. Ryan, 3 and 6. Jeffrey with 5. Kajua with 1. Patrick with 10. Jonah with 19. We're going to do these alphabetically. Yeah, everyone thinks they, everyone thinks they should be going in like... Uh, bags or whatever, but the cards rattle around too much in those things. It's good for displaying, not good for shipping. I need more blank cards right here. I think these will help me keep track of all of you in this break. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I thought I had a ton of these blank cards near me. Oh yeah, Todd, you should watch one of the uh, on-demand videos. Tops on-demand videos. I, I'm pretty sure we're getting five star baseball next week. We always get the big new releases. Yeah, it was a uh, well. There's no Aaron Judge autographs inside that um, on demand set. Let me print out this list too. There's no Aaron Judges in that on demand set. It was Max Max Ehrlich right there. 
Yeah, but there's no judge autographs in there, but there are parallels, you know, and he got the one of one parallel in there in a limited edition set, which is pretty crazy. All right, so Jeffrey, we're going to start with you first. Jeffrey L., you have packs 18, 4, 17, and 5. 18 and 4. 17. And back here to this stack, and 5. 18, 4, 17, and 5. I'm actually going to do everyone's right here just so I can keep myself organized. John, you have 14, 2, 15, and 12. 14, 2, 15, and 12. Jody, you have 16 and 19. Kenjua, 13 and 1. Patrick Edwards, 7 and 10. Ryan Van Dyke, 8, 20, 3, and 6. 8, 20, 3, and 6. 8, 20, 3, and 6. And Ryan or uh, and Sam has nine and eleven. All right, which is right there. All right, so Jeffrey L, we're gonna start with you first. Eighteen, four, seventeen, five. Eighteen, four, seventeen. And five. Coming up after this will be. I don't know what we're doing after this. I had a I had a break order here. All right, we're doing high tech Bowman high tech after this. We're doing a quick Vault Originals break after that, and then um, we'll do the break credit promo, and then we'll say goodnight. All right. So this is uh you bought it well. Jua says, what are we looking for in this? I just bought into it for fun. Now, this is fun because it's like Alan, it's like Upper Deck's version of Alan Ginter, right? Uh, so it's it's got that kind of wackiness in there, a lot of weird inserts, a lot of short prints, a lot of stuff that people like to collect and build sets. What's great about this, though, is they put their exclusive autos in this set. Ben Simmons autographs, exclusive to Upper Deck. Michael Jordan autographs, exclusive to Upper Deck, right? Tiger Woods, LeBron James. Now, extremely difficult to pull, but you never know. Memorabilia, Amanda Nunez. But mostly it'll just be like wacky stuff like this, like Harambe, you know, tennis players, animals, blank cards. There you go, Dan Severin, MMA. Scott wants me to pull an all-nighter. Um, the only way I'd pull an all-nighter is, let's see, what would be worth doing that would be fun all night long? NT, I'll do NT baseball all night long if you want me to. You keep filling up NT baseball, ladies and gentlemen, I'll keep doing it. How about that? Challenge. Spell your last name, Jeff. Oh, there it is. That's this is Goodwin twenty one. No, but otherwise, I'm going to go home. I'm going to celebrate the Dodgers win. I'm going to pass out. I'm going to watch more baseball tomorrow. I am kind of amped. That's why I said I'll do baseball all night. All right, John, with 14, 2, 15, and 12. All right, that's 14, 
2, 15, and 12. Good luck. I do hope the Dodgers win it too. Yeah, I was just Yeah, it would be it'd be it would mean a lot. It would mean a lot. I, I yeah, I just don't know. I agree with Gabriel who's also a Dodgers. I don't know if my heart is going to make it. Ah, there's the uh, there's JD Bouchard. Tennis player. She's pretty dreamy. I dream of Jeannie. All right. Just that for you, John. No hits or anything like that. Maybe some of those things might be short printed in there. All right, next up is Jonah Wilson with just two packs. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but yes, I, I will, Buck Shannon. We got William Henry Henris, uh, Harrison. There you go. What did he do for us? I don't know what he did. Oh, the Battle of Tippecanoe. Right, everyone, everyone remembers that one. Bear and Quincy Davis. All right. Thank you, Jonah, for giving that a shot. All right, next is, so we got Jonah's packs, and Kajua, you're next, 13 and one with your last spot mojo. Oh, there are Stephen King autos in here too? Nice, Scott's saying there are Stephen King autos in here. Oh, I thought that was gonna be a hit. Just a blank card. Reggie Ho, Doctor. Reggie Ho. There it is. He's a place kicker at Notre Dame. He's actually pretty... I think there's an ESPN 30 for 30 short about this guy. About Dr. Reggie Ho. All right, there you go, Kajua. Thanks for giving that a shot. See, it's kind of it's it's fun. It's wacky. It's a good time. Seven and ten for Patrick Edwards. There's seven and ten. There are also uh, old World War II relics in here too in this set too. Those are very short printed. They got Thomas Jefferson. Everyone knows Thomas Jefferson, of course. A couple cards there. Nice. All right. There you go, Patrick. Thanks for giving that a shot. All right. Uh, oh, nice. Todd said he got a Purple Heart Ribbon Redemption last year. That, that does sound pretty sweet. Yeah. They, they do a lot of pretty unique stuff in this in this set. I really like it. 8, 20, 3, and 6. 8, 20, 3, and 6. Good luck, Ryan. Uh, no, I will not be, Kenjua. Already squeezing a 10-buck break for tonight. Because then if I do that, then it'll be another one box break. Then it'll be another one box break. Then it'll be another one box break. Uh, I gotta, unless it's NT baseball that fills up. The break schedule is already full, I'm afraid. Oh, oh look at this. Canine Companions, Pumi. This might be a short print, 
actually. Uh, Kenjo, you could buy the last 17 spots in, uh, in National Treasures Baseball. We could do that. Nice. So that's a good one, Ryan. You should double check on the checklist, maybe CardboardConnection.com. Uh, Martin Van Buren, uh, one of the greatest sideburns of any American president. He's on the Rushmore of great sideburns. All right. There we go. Nice handful of packs for you. Like some of the really short printed K9 cards. Yeah, the K9 cards are great. Some of the short printed ones could go for like hundreds of dollars. Last year it was prehistoric creatures from like the Jurassic and Triassic and all the other ASICs. <laughs> other time periods. So 11 and 9 for you, Sam. And though, like, the short printed ones would go for, like, hundreds of dollars. It's crazy. Oh, yeah, someone told me about that the other day. Now I remember. Yeah, someone said Stephen King Goodwin autos inscribed they all float. Scary. That might be it. A couple minis right here. Plus a lion and an elephant. Yeah, Sam. I mean, that's pretty cool. I like those guys. And that's it. Thanks for trying on that one, Sam. Got a couple minis out of there. And that is it, folks. That was uh, 2017 Upper Deck Goodwin Champions. The random pack break number 21 from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Oh, they actually, these are on 10buckbreaks.com and breaking on the main channel. Thanks. Bye.